Hi, my name is Cassie, and today we are talking about how to organize your life. So, first off, there's many different ways that you can organize your life, and it all just depends on what style works best for you. So the first step to organizing your life is figuring out the best way to handle your schedule, whether that's putting it in a calendar, on your phone, in the notes, or on the calendar, or even using a planner. Whatever works best for you is the only way that you're going to actually continue using it. The second step is to prioritize. Uh, you take the most important things and the least important things and you put them on a list. So like for me, I am involved in student council, FFA, soccer, I have to work, I have family, I've got friends, all of these things going on. I have to prioritize and sometimes some events come before others and so I take it on a day to day basis. So for example, say I have a 4-H meeting, an FFA meeting, I have soccer practice, my mom needs help cleaning up the house, and I have homework. Well obviously I am going to have to attend my FFA meeting because I'm an officer. I'll probably skip out on the 4-H meeting because it's not as important probably would have to skip out on soccer because I already have a meeting going on and my mom needs help at home and I have homework. So right there I just prioritize the things that were most important to least important and it all depends on a day to day basis. Sometimes soccer may be more important than FFA and vice versa. It just truly depends on what's going on and that's how you need to prioritize your events in your life is what is most important at the time of the event. Your third thing is to organize the space that you live in. Now for a lot of us this is really hard to make sure our room is clean, laundry is done, you can actually see the floor, anything like that. But it's really super important because if the living space you're in is clean then it helps relax you, it helps keep you focused and then you don't feel as blah for not you know having stuff done and you're like well whatever. So Make sure at least your living space is clean, and if you like dirty things, then maybe have your car be dirty or something. And the fourth step is to try and keep it that way. Because I know for a lot of us it's really difficult that to keep a planner, to keep our events all lined out and everything, but it will help you as a person, and in the future, once we start going through job interviews and our life, uh, over scheduling things isn't really going to help us be productive and successful and there was actually someone who said that people who wait till the last minute or procrastinate or overdo stuff they don't do it because they enjoy doing it they do it mostly because they want the attention and it only stresses you out and makes you feel worse so it's really important to be organized and to take each one of these steps really important or really to heart and follow them really importantly and if you have other steps those are also great as well this is this this is the short and sweet version of how to organize your life thank you